Uh, my name is Gavin Kuchensky. I have a C4 spinal cord injury. It happened a little over two years ago now. And I found this uh, Burrito Neuro online. And um, my expectations, I think I came into it with not really a, a lot of expectations. Uh, just knowing where everyone is on the spinal cord injury, but anything can help. I look, that's how I look at it. There's always hope. Even if one small thing comes back, to me it was worth it. So I'm very uh, an anxious person. I, uh, as soon as after the surgery, I wanted to be up ASAP. So I uh, was up in my wheelchair I think it was eight hours after the surgery and ready to start physical therapy so I could see the changes. But I started noticing changes um, in my body probably within two days after the surgery. Two days, what kind of changes? I just noticed uh, my blood pressure mm. had started um, coming back up to almost, an almost normal level mm. once we started using the simulator and it, has been staying pretty consistently up at that level without the stimulator even on. The stem cell treatment went very well. Um, I actually noticed some more filling in my left arm and right arm. And when the team uh, retested me on the Asia score, um, my filling had gotten better according to the Asia test on the on, on paper, so it wasn't even just me. The mapping process was overall very great. Um, I know not everyone responds the same, but it seems like I responded very mm -hmm. quickly on the first day, even after surgery, they showed uh, my father that I, my body was responding to the um, simulator. And the team here is very knowledgeable on mapping the right muscle groups to get uh, to be able to have some so uh, to get you to work out again. So regular day here, um, wake up, eat breakfast usually, and then I start the mapping process in early in the morning, usually two to three hours. Then you have a lunch break for an hour, and then you go to the lower extremity mapping uh, for another two to three hours as well. This happens every day? Every day, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, usually Monday through Friday, and um, you usually have uh, upper or lower on Saturday, depending mm -hmm. on what you're doing. So I've been working with the same lower extremity therapist for the whole 50 days, and the same upper extremity therapist, but I've also gotten to know uh, every single one of the therapists. Uh, because they all jump in to help your mm -hmm. main therapist. So, and everyone has been very great and very helpful here. Very, very good. And the, also the great thing um, is you get to see the doctor out on the floor um, almost every single day. Very, very involved in the team. So my favorite exercise now um, would probably be in the Riften E-Pacer. Uh, and up and walking because you're able to work multiple different body parts, let mm -hmm. alone your legs. Uh, you're moving your trunk, uh, your arms, triceps, and that's been, I guess, the best thing with the stimulator. Um, it gives you the tools to be able to work out again. Okay, yes, uh, for sure one of my biggest things and accomplishments that uh, was great was the blood pressure. Um, you don't realize how big of a downer your your body is with the lower blood pressure. So it's been really good to have higher blood pressure. Another thing I've noticed is more circulation through my body. Mm. I had some remnants of a pressure wound that I gotten two years ago, uh, and um, since the simulator, that pressure wound has fully healed. So that has helped the circulation get down to that. Um, the third thing that I've noticed uh, majorly is I'm able to sweat again, which is really great.
for body temperature. Mm -hmm. like body temperature is a big part of spinal cord injuries and mm -hmm. it's very nice to be able to sweat again. Uh, yeah, so my impressions of the facility have been really great. Uh, the nursing staff, amazing. The physical therapy, amazing. Um, when you're going to uh, an Asian country, it's my first time from the US flying this far. You kind of just don't know what your expectations are. So getting here and seeing the hospital made me feel at ease and relaxed. It was pretty, pretty kept up and very clean. Um, the medical care here was amazing. The, when you needed a nurse, more than one came in. So you always had someone, I guess, at your begging call if you needed something. Um, if there was any questions, because you're in a foreign country, the, the staff and everyone was very willing to help and get your questions answered and also assist you to get what you need. So the staff here was very over the top and very, very good. The team here has been excellent. Um, I know back in the US, uh, there's some, um, I mean, people, there, there's hope, but here I feel like uh, Everyone loves to come here. It's a it's a very good mindset here. A mm. lot of a lot of hope. They they don't stop until they get what they want out of the simulators. Mm. Um, I've even seen it with people that may not respond as well. They keep pushing to get the response that they need mm. out of the simulator, um, so they can send them back with a really good um, workout for them to make them try to get built stronger and get better. The uh, simulator was definitely a great thing. I think it's probably one of the best things we have right mm -hmm. now for the, this type of an injury. Um, spinal cord injuries, I've done a lot of research, haven't, they've gotten far, but there's always setbacks with anything you do. So I think as of right now, it is, the best way to regain function while it's on and get blood pressure back mm. um, for now. I, we, we never, new discoveries are happening every day, but right now I think it is probably the best thing. And just to get your blood pressure back is worth it in its own. That, that's, that's an amazing accomplishment because you don't realize how much that affects your body. So my long-term goals right now, my, I mean, my longest goal is to be up on my feet again, but I know everyone with an SCI may say that and get back to normal. But right now, my biggest goal is to get into a power assist wheelchair, build up enough strength to be able to use a manual slash power chair so I don't have to be in a, a bigger wheelchair, that, which I am in now. Yeah, I think um, the people here are very happy to help and I'm very thankful I did this. I think it was very much worth it. The, always anything you do has risks. There's risks in anything and mm. there's a risk, you know, you may not get anything back, but there's also a big risk you may get something back. So mm. that's how I looked at it is mm. I would rather try than not try. So mm. I took the risk. Overall, this was an amazing trip with some amazing people and met a lot of new friends here.